and it is an exciting thing. And as always, you know, we uh, always encourage my my sisters out there to use a dental dam when you're going down on your loved ones. Yes, if even if you're even if you are a heterosexual couple, yes indeed, yes you do need a condom and or a dental dam. And you say to yourself, well, what is a dental dam? Well, of course, uh, I don't know if we can get scissors here in the studio. Do we have scissors here in the studio, perhaps? You can get me a pair of scissors. I will display a dental dam for you because, you know, the worst part of sexual education is being uneducated. And I would like to think that after 18 years of being on your television in your home, raising your, your prepubescent children, I do believe that you should be uh, educated in the right way. It's the best thing for your being. So we're going to open up the condom. Of course, we're not going to use the the scissors to open a condom because you may just cut right into it. But I've always demonstrated this, and a lot of people ask me, well, how do you do it? Now, you see, this is a condom, okay? See this, Mr. Cameron, we're a condom. And what we do is, it's like a hat, and you want to cut right through this round, you know, through the actual rim Quiet out there, I can't hear myself. You can do through the rim, and then what happens is, is you're left with a cut condom with one side, <laughs> one side cut off. But then what you do is you unroll the condom after cutting it, and there you have it. Here you have it. You have with you a dental dam. It's a rectangular piece of latex. And of course, you're not going to be using a oil-based lip gloss, such as mine, <laughs> such as anyone out there. You shouldn't be using a oil-based anything on a condom. Always use a water-soluble lubricant. And also, if you want a little more safer sex, because just using this condom isn't enough, perhaps some nanoxinol 9, and that is a spermicide that is supposed to stop the, oh my gosh, stop the virus. I just got thrown pink daisies by Gino Colbert. Now let's see, is there a flyer in this one perhaps of his latest movie? <laughs> the last